you want to support the predator poachers catching the sickest both near and far, go to the pinned comment. If you're on Rumble, press the red join button to see over 30 videos early and uncensored for only $10 a month. We can't do this without your help, so join our locals. For him. Do you need me to call him up here? Yes. Um, what's your name? It's uh, Gordon. Gordy. Hey, buddy, uh, Gordy's here with a package for you. You want to come up to the front? Um, yes, uh, um, Michael has a package. Can we put some more up there? Up front. No, he just wants to hand it off to him. I'm sure, yeah, you just want to make sure he has it. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> How's it going? Here, go ahead. Oh, it's... I wonder if he has his walkie on it. I'm sorry, you're not. I'm trying to get Yeah, it. no problem. All right. How's it going? Hey. Got a package here for you. It's about some message to Ariel on Facebook. We should probably go over. Do you want to go talk about outside him? No problem. How's it going? I'm Gordon. Sorry to meet you like this. Mike? How old are you? How old are you? 43. Gotcha. Where? Deja vu. Well, I just want to have a conversation with you kind of about what happened, okay? I'm not here to hurt you or cause any trouble or anything. I didn't tell them anything. Um, how long have you been working here, man? Uh, well, three months. Okay, so you just do keep it all clean and stuff. Yeah. Well, thanks for what you do, dude. I'm glad yeah, you keep the world. Do the uh, showers, all this out here. Yeah, nice, dude. Well, you do a job that not a lot of people want to do, so I appreciate you stepping up. Yeah. Where were you at before this? Uh, I worked at Walmart, and I kind of worked for myself. Okay, self-employed. That's awesome, dude. Yeah, not really. It was too much to handle. Yeah, oh, for sure. Yeah. I get it. Not everybody wants that weight on their shoulders, huh? Yeah. Yeah. Pretty tough. Yeah. Um, do you kind of know what I'm here to talk to you about? Well, I appreciate it. You seem like an honest guy. Uh, what would I be here to talk to you about? Talking to Ariel. Yep. Why would kind of uh, I be here to talk to you about that, you think? Kind of said some appropriate things. Fair enough. Uh, how old did she say she was? Uh, she said 13 one time and 12 one time. Okay. Yep. I appreciate your honesty. Is the world. Um, yeah, so kind of some stuff here. Uh, how, how did you, uh, Ariel meet you? She had me on Facebook. Okay, so that's where y'all talk. Yeah. Y'all talk on Telegram at all? I don't get on Telegram. Okay. Um. So y'all started talking. It looks like late December. Uh, I'm not really sure of the date. Okay. Has it been like a little bit though? Yeah, probably a few months or so. Fair enough. I don't know. I'm not really sure. Yeah, yeah. So h how did this stuff kind of like start for you online? Because you're like a good dude. I don't you know, why don't you fall into this stuff like this? I mean, how how this kind of, these younger ladies start hitting you up? Like, how, how'd that start happening? I don't know. She just asked me to start talking. And I guess things got a little on, you know. A little bit carried away. Yeah. That's fair. How common is it for like girls like this to just hit guys up like you? Not very. I guess in your experience, how many times would something like this have happened, like these girls trying to talk to you and all that stuff? Not much. Maybe just a couple of times. Were they Ariel's age or younger? Or? Uh, not that old. Like 14, 15? About 16, 17. Okay. So, how the conversation kind of go with each other? Like, looks pretty cordial at first, but... I mean, I, I, dude, I, I'm a college dropout because I don't want that weight on my shoulders. I don't like to read too much. Like, I think we could talk without these, to be honest. Like, how, how did it kind of go? Just started talking very well, then all of a sudden she's like, you want to come to me and all that. Really? Where does she live? Uh, I think Huntsville. Okay. Do you drive at all? No, I rode a bus. Okay. Yeah, I could tell, man. You got some uh, 
athletic looking legs. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta, I gotta start doing that, man. I'm yeah. that ass. About four mile ride every day here. Yeah. Jeez, do you live out in the county or in the city or? Uh, I live about probably, I live four miles from here, back that way towards the lake. Not bad, man. Um, your last name is right? Okay. Yeah. Got it. Um, so she wanted you to come meet in Huntsville? Yeah. Okay. When did she start bringing that shit up? Uh, a couple of months ago. Okay. What did she kind of talk about wanting to do with you? She seems like a crazy <laughs> <laughs> Everything. I've been, she's been trying, she tried to get me to come today and I keep on blowing her off on it. What did she like? So what does she want? When we say everything, like pretend I'm a Catholic schoolgirl. Like what? What would she want? What was she wanting? Wanting to have and all that. Really? You're telling me this little 13 year old was telling you to have sex with her? No. -uh. How long has she been saying that stuff for? Uh, probably about a couple months. Or so. No way. I keep on blowing her off on it. Yeah. No kidding. Nah, I'm not gonna do that. Right. Right. Okay, so you send me the messages here. Um, what was kind of a, your your reason? I'm not judging you, obviously. I mean, I'm just trying to figure it out. What was kind of your reason for talking to her? Like, what was kind of a, your entertainment in this? I guess loneliness, not having nobody to talk to. You don't have a girlfriend or anything? No, I'm single. Damn it. Any kids or anything? No. No? My last ex, man, I was out in California. She put me through living hell, cheated on me and all that. Oh, man. i just been, just really haven't wanted a relationship. Where in California did you live? Sacramento. Oh, damn. Sorry about that. <laughs> what, what brought you to Sacramento? Huh? Just wanted to change a lifestyle. Okay. Case day, but you came back to Alabama? Yeah. I was up there in McGalley when that big fire come through, and I couldn't find no job, and pretty much about to get kicked out, so pretty much called my family and got them to help me come back home. Okay. You like it better here or over there? Not uh, here. Yeah. It's way too hot out there for me. Dude, it is, man. People are nicer here, too. Yeah, people out there are jerks. No kidding, man. At least Sacramento has pretty good food, though. I try not to go out too much because it was the people out there yeah. Using the bathroom on the sidewalks. It, it was a nasty town. That's Sacramento, too. It's even worse, like in L.A., San Francisco, and shit. Yeah. It's up. So, uh, come these, I kind of want to go over some of these messages here, just make sure we're all good. Um, you asked here, have you been kissed yet? What was kind of the point of asking her if you, she's been kissed? Oh, I was just asking. She was like talking about kissing and all that. That's her, she can kiss. Okay. And here it said, would you kiss me? Yeah. Kind of just flirting around with her or something? Yeah. That's fair. Did she ever uh, send you any, like, at all? No. Did you send her? No. Okay, so here it said, what kind of panties are you wearing? She said, what do you mean, just regular? And you said, white. Don't be shy, baby girl. And then she was asked here, you don't have and she says, not really. And you say, you will get them soon. Would you let me learn what you have? Mm. What was kind of a, what was kind of the reasoning for communicating that to her? Stupidity. Stupidity, okay. Did you ever play into it? Like kind of saying that you wanted to have sex with her at any point? And I'm not judging if you did, I'm just asking. It was just joking around. I'm not, what to say it. She's been trying to get me to come there for a couple months. Um, I'm not okay, but so she told you she wanted to have sex with you. Then at some point, you also told her that too. Yeah. Okay. Is this like something you do when you're like bored, or is this something that is this just like a fantasy, or what so is whatever it? Whatever she misses, we have gifts. Okay. So here it was asked. Uh, you told her for me and. She said, okay. And I said, this is good. And he said, do you feel at the bottom of it? She said, yeah. He didn't tell me if it's pencil size or bigger or smaller. So what was kind of the curiosity in having her kind of? See how she liked it, I guess. Okay. Was there something that did it for you? Like just her being a first time or doing this? That... No, it's just 
I don't really know the people. Okay. You were kind of her pilot and kind of guiding her on how to do it. Yeah, kind of. Is that kind of why you work here? <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. No. Just kidding. Is it a lot smaller? Is it a little smaller? Okay. So I noticed you, when you ask her here, you want to do it again. This is like at 11 at night. I mean, is this something, and I'm just asking because, you know, I know you're not trying to be malicious or anything, but is this something that you're asking when you're just bored and or something? Because this is, a, like, there's a pattern of the nighttime. I usually and, work at nighttime, so I'm usually at work. What, what shifts do you work? Well, my main shifts. Okay. But when, I guess, if, whenever they need me, I come in. So you're, you're saying this on the job, though. Like, you're telling her this. Yeah, you, I mean, do you text her at work? Like on my break or whatever. Okay. I'm on Wi Fi until tomorrow. I got a new phone. Blah, blah, blah. Did you ever video call at all? Yeah. What did she talk to you about on there? Pretty much always asking me to come see her and stuff. Okay. Did you ever say you would come see her? I said I would, but I'm not going to. Okay. Like I said, I've been blowing her off on it. Kind of don't want to hurt her feelings. Okay. So if you didn't want to hurt her feelings to do all this, what was kind of your point just continuing to talk with her? I haven't done it but maybe two times, not much. Talk with her? Yeah. Well, I mean, these are just message after message. You want me to on other places too? Um, would you let me if that will feel good to you? You really don't have She said no, and on your end it said, will you let me see? Um, did you mean like you wanted to see it in person or were you asking for a picture when you said that? Uh, I really don't know. Say again? I said I really don't know. Like I said, I'm not going to meet her. Okay. So what would you have meant by will you let me see um, her? In this case, I did go, which, you know, like I said, I've been avoiding her on that. Yeah. Because then you said I want to baby. And here you said you want to lose your she says, what does it hurt? I can try. And on your end, I said, it will hurt. As At first, I'm And you say, okay, I'm looking at my schedule. This tablet is so slow. I want to do that stuff to you, blah, blah, blah. Like, I mean, obviously, at this point, there's a, some fantasy there or something. Like, there's something in your mind that kind of caused this to kind of be said. I don't think you woke up one day and just texted a 13-year-old girl. I think something happened. Um, did anything happen to you as a kid? Uh, when I was young. Real young. What happened? I was. Who was it by, if I may ask? By one of our own neighbors. Really? Yeah, he'd like, he'd get me to do stuff, and like, if I did it, he'd let me play with his pocket knife or stuff like that. So he basically. <laughs> you in a way. Yeah. Okay. I don't know what that is. But... Okay, basically, like, you gotta do something or turn for a favor or something. Yeah. Okay. How old were you? I was probably five, younger. Sorry to hear that, man. So do, do you think what happened to you kind of, and so that tells me you weren't born like this. Something made you this way. I, I don't think you like being like this, do you? No, not really. Okay. Just be honest, because look, I'm, I'm looking at you right now. I obviously didn't cause a scene in your job. I didn't tell them what was going on. You know, I just came here to talk to you, but you know, if I'm here to help you out, I would hope you would do the same for me. Because obviously, obviously, we all want this to stop, right? You don't want to be on the end of this. You don't, you know, I don't want to be here talking to you. Yes. I'm not really happy about it. No. So just, I, I know when people go through this as kids, it puts something in their mind that they don't want to be there. It's like a demon, okay? When did you start to notice that you had kind of feelings towards kids? And I'm not judging you because I know this happened to you and it's not fair, but it didn't start yesterday. We know that. Well, she's the only one I've ever really done. Like I said, she's the only one I ever talked about that. I get it. But when did the curiosity start? So I, I, if I was a betting man, I would I would probably guess the curiosity started for you when you were like 18, 19. And I, and I believe I'm 100% right about that. Yeah, probably so. Okay. What did you start to notice at that age? That was a long time ago, man. <laughs> yeah. Um, this... I guess curiosity. Okay. I really 
I haven't been in many relationships, really. Okay. How often do you kind of fantasize or just think about like younger ladies under, like is it boys too or just girls? Just girls. Okay. I guess let me ask this first. What's, and again, I'm not judging, even if you told me a fetus, you know what a fetus is? Fetus. Like a, like a, one, like a baby, baby in the womb, yeah. yeah. Even if you told me fetus, I wouldn't be mad at you because obviously we just got to get the more out if we're going to address it, right? But what is the youngest age that you think we fantasize about? Just probably teenage, I guess. 13? Not really. I don't know. She liked to say it. She started asking me to come over stuff, and it just got me curious. In it. About that age? Yeah. Okay. Are you sure you don't have Telegram? Has anybody made you just download Telegram at one point? They asked me about it. Okay. I just told them I'm here. Here, let me see my phone real quick. I'm sorry. I do want to send you a help link. Do you have a... Uh, yeah. Can you put the rest of it in, please? I just got a phone number. Okay. Phone number. okay. How long have you had this phone number for? Not very long, probably a couple months. Couple months? Yeah. Okay. I lost my phone and I got a new one. I tried to transfer my number and they wanted all kinds of waste authenticated and I couldn't do it, so mm. I didn't get the phone number. Got it. When'd you get this phone? Probably three months ago. Three months ago? Okay. Yeah, me and my I was working with my brother at the time. That's when I was working myself. He threw my phone out the window and it broke and I had to get a deal. Got it. Well, I think you've been honest with me about 95% of things that we've talked about. And I think the other 5% is because you actually have a conscience about this type of stuff. Um, that being said, I think a little bit more got you curious about this than Ariel and what happened to you. Um, you know, I obviously know you've had a telegram at one point. Yeah, absolutely. That, I have. Yeah. Yeah, I'm, pulled, I'm pulling up your profile right here. You, you were last online on... Your number is... Right? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I do have one, but I never used it. Okay. I'll just download it. That's it. Okay. I don't have it on my new phone or anything. Okay. Because it, I don't... I didn't see the point in it. All right. Well, you know, you don't like being this way, do you, at all, okay? I think people on Telegram, well, let me just say, let me just say it like this. Do you think there's been people on Telegram that are probably not good to be associating with and not good to be talking to? That's on everything. Yeah. But, I mean, do you think, did you notice there's a bigger concentration of that on Telegram, just people that you should maybe stay away from and not talk to? I don't know. Like I said, I just downloaded it. I've never added anybody or talked to anybody on it. When did you download it? What too long ago? If you had to guess. Probably three months ago. Three months ago. Three months ago. I'm not I'm not really sure. I'm not good on dates. Yeah, no, I get that. Who told you to get it? Huh? Who told you to get it? I just saw it on there and thought it was like a chat or whatever. Chat, okay. Because you know you only had Android phones, no iPhones or anything like that. No. Yeah, Androids are pretty easy to uh, kind of look into. If you get catch my drift with that, um, I, I don't think for one second that you're trying to initiate anything on Telegram or do anything stupid. But have people, have adults tried to suggest like this to you, like talking about younger people under 18 or try to talk to you about this type of stuff? On Telegram. Telegram or Facebook or anywhere. Not really. 
Okay. Did I just download it because it's almost like a messaging system and I was going to try it out. I never talked to nobody on it or added anybody. Okay. So not a single person has talked to you on Telegram? No. Okay. How many times do you think you've been on Telegram? Maybe three times. Three times? What would be the point of going on there if nobody's on there? Just seeing if anybody added me or whatever. Okay. Has anybody maybe added you to groups that you didn't want to be a part of? Like they throw you in a group and you're like, what the f is this? Get, get out of there? Like I said, I've only been on it a couple of times and it was dead, so. Okay. Do you have like Signal or WhatsApp or anything? Hmm. Okay. I think I had a WhatsApp a long, long, long time ago. What was kind of that about? Like what was? Uh, I was talking to somebody from uh, South Africa. And that's why they wanted to communicate. That makes sense. I can go for fried pickles right now. I'm starving. <laughs> fried pickles. God, I love fried pickles. You know my shirt here? <laughs> Have you ever been on the dark web at all? I heard that that's a scary place to go to. How'd you hear about that? Huh? How'd you hear of that? Uh, like Facebook. You know, they, like, they ordered the, I guess, the mystery boxes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, I was pretty into that. Yeah. So, like, those types of videos? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So, here on your end, said, which do you want us to trust? said, what you mean? You said you were... What was... Why would you tell her that? I don't know. Because she's kind of, like, interested in it. Okay. So, you just figured, since she was interested, I'll just kind of go with it or something like that? Yeah. Okay. Well, you on me and and you look like it looks to be like you're getting a little bit into it here, man. Remember, you took your off and no, we didn't. Okay. So here it said, I was sad when you didn't show me, by the way, and reference her. So what did you mean, like, on the video or a picture? Like, what were you kind of meaning with that? I guess the video. Okay, you wanted her to kind of show, show you that on video? Yeah, I guess so. What was that? What was the appeal in uh, watching Ariel for wanting to uh, see her do that? Just pretty much if she locked it or whatever. Okay. Did you feel... Um, did you feel like a rush kind of talking to her this way? Not really. Not really. That kind of tells me that, I mean, are, are kids on your mind this much to where you don't even get a rush from just talking to them? I mean, that doesn't really make any sense. I mean, what would be the point in talking to somebody for no reason? I guess because she liked it. Because she liked it. Are you like a people pleaser or something? Yeah, or, I guess so. Oh, all right. <laughs> So she's talking about meeting up today. Yeah, told her I had to work. Got it. Well, you are here at work. So I, I got to ask, man, the, the only thing that's not, not adding up to me is that I just can't, I just can't comprehend that you would just talk like this to somebody without people kind of getting you into this type of like, you didn't wake up on Facebook one day at 43 years old and just think, like, okay, I'm going to go talk to this 13-year-old girl. I mean, what do you think, what what happened before this? Because this wasn't, this wasn't number one. This wasn't the first step in just talking to Ariel. Like, it wasn't you just hitting her up like this. I mean, what do you think it was? Uh, I'm not sure. Okay. Well, let me, let me ask this. Have, when did uh, younger profiles under 18 start popping up on Facebook for you? Like, in your recommended or messages, whatever? Pretty much after she added me. After she added you? So there was more after that that she kind of started popping up? Yeah. Okay. How many of them have tried to message you? Not many. Not many people talk on there. Okay. It's pretty much just added me and never said anything. Do you try to reach out to them and just say hi? Really? Like I said, I don't talk to many people on Facebook. Okay.
you were at one point that. Yeah. What do, what do y'all do there? Uh, pretty much load parts to be painted on the, the little conveyor line. Okay, is it like car parts or? Yeah. Okay, not bad. Like fenders, bumpers, all that stuff. Pretty much it. So what do, what do you do? Do you just like paint physically like this pretty much? No, we just hang them on the rack. It has a rack it sits on. Uh-huh. And it, you just load it on and it goes through and it paints it automatically. All right. Does your Facebook algorithm ever like just pop up pictures of like younger younger girls like in bikinis or just in clothes? I mean, they all wear clothes. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. But does it just like start posting like on your feed and just kind of young girls start popping up like here's a picture of one just in clothes or anything like that? No, not really. I don't have any ad. Okay. Are you friends with Ariel on there? Yeah. So there's truly been nothing on Telegram. I swear to God. So not a single person has even reached out to you on there? Not unless they've done it in the last month or so. Say that I've been on there like three times. Yeah. I mean, is there anybody on Telegram that tried to hit you up that's maybe blocked or something? I haven't got one message. Not one on there? Okay. Have you heard, have you seen people on Facebook talk about Telegram at all? No, that's not a few people. What do, what do they talk about with on Telegram? Like, what do they say is on there? Just ask if I have it and communicate to it, whatever. They DM you asking if you have it? Okay. So, did those people talk to you on Telegram? No. No? I like say, I've never read it anybody. It's dead. Okay. What do you, uh... What are the, why do they want to add you on Telegram? Like, because basically what I want to do, because you know, I know you're not. They pretty much talked about it, and I was just curious about it. And okay. Added it to see what it was. Okay. Do they ever talk about like, hey, I got these pictures of younger girls I want to talk to you about or anything? Uh, not say anything like that. Okay. Sure. Yeah, I don't know, man, because I'll tell you how we kind of found your profile. It was because your profile was liking pictures of younger looking girls on Facebook. So that's why I asked, like, when did, it, when did this kind of start popping up on your feed? Because we know it did, you know what I mean? So what, what, truly, like, when did that start for you, man? Pretty much after Ariel away. Okay, but we found you before Ariel. The whole point of Ariel was because you were liking photos of younger, younger looking girls. Which I know you have the, you've had that curiosity for a while, you know what I mean? Yeah. So truly, like, I'm not saying you were asking for these pics or anything like that, but when did they just start popping up on your feed and just, and you just liking them? Because that's been going on for at least a year from what we've seen. Yeah. So when do you think that started, dude? I'm not, I'm not judging you, I'm just. I'm not sure, man. Um, well, like a year and a half ago, I guess. Okay. I'm not really 100% on that. Did people like DM this shit to you or did they just post it on their feed or? What's that, what do you mean? Like just these younger pictures of girls? Uh, they, I guess they just posted on their profile or whatever. Okay. Because look, you were a kid, right? So I don't think you like childhood or anything like that. So a lot of the girls in these pictures and videos are probably being and they're going through the same you had to go through, you know, and that's not something you like. I mean, you have nieces and nephews, right? I think it's like that on Facebook. Yeah. It's great. I mean, even if they're just in bikinis or whatever, you know what I mean? They still like, who knows where they could be behind the scenes, you know what I mean? So that's why I'm asking for your help on this. Have you seen anybody like trying to sell on Facebook or anything, like selling pics like that? Uh, a lot of people sell that. 
Like those younger picks? No, not the younger picks. Like women trying to do, I guess, like, what do they call that? Uh, it's where they earn money or whatever. Yeah. Okay. How many times do you think you've seen somebody trying to like sell photos of like younger girls? And I'm not saying this is your fault. I'm just asking you, how common is that? I haven't seen it on Facebook. Okay. Any other platforms that you might have seen that on? I really don't have any platforms. Pretty much just Facebook. Okay. That's my main go-to, I guess. All right. So this is just kind of my hang up, dude, because you were liking these posts of little girls like a long time ago, like a year and a half ago. Then you get Telegram a couple months ago. You know, it's a pretty common thing for people that aren't too deep into wanting to hurt anybody that are just kind of get carried away on the internet, bored, lonely, whatever. It's a pretty common thing for people to have Facebook, then they get introduced to Telegram. It's basically like they start off with and they get introduced to You know what I'm saying? And I'm not saying you're a junkie, right? I'm just saying this can happen to good people. They get sucked into shit, all right? Because look, you have an Android. Androids are very obvious with what gets sent to those phones, okay? Even your old ones, just because it's attached to the phone number, right? I don't think that you've taken a picture of a young girl ever before. I don't think you've ever done this weird shit. But do I think people have sent you those pics? Absolutely, dude. Absolutely. I've never got on Reese. Have you been offered those before? Uh, a few times. Where have they offered those to you? Uh, I think it was on Facebook. What, what was the situation where they were offering that pit, those picks to you? I'm trying to sell them, make money. Okay. And these were underage picks? Yeah. Okay. What were the age ranges they had that they were selling? 15, 16, something like 15, 16. How much were they selling them for? I don't know because I wasn't going to buy them. I'm pretty much injured right there. Got it. Well, what, uh, do you know what they were selling specifically that was like, like, was it on a wink or were they just selling the pictures by themselves or? Uh, selling them by themselves. Okay. How many of them would have sent you like a preview of one just to see what? None, they wanted money. They wanted money, okay. Seen anybody ever talk about Megalinks or anything? Megalinks and Cliff. Have you ever heard Megalinks just being mentioned anywhere or? Uh, I think so. It sounds familiar. Where do you think you would have seen a mega link or people talking about mega links? I think it was on Facebook. On Facebook. Okay. Has there been anybody that's reached out to you on Telegram ever? No. No. Like I said, nobody's messaged me, added me. That's pretty much dead out. Okay. Do you know of anybody else online that could be, like I get it, because if you, if you talk some sh there, I don't really give a f about that, but do you, do you know of anybody online that you've come across that you think could be into like pictures of younger girls or anything like that? Just the people selling them a few times. Okay. Did they ever give you a price of how much they were selling them for? Yeah, I don't know about what we interested. Okay. I don't really have the money and I'm not doing that. Yeah. I see, I see. Am I going to be able to go back to work? Oh, I'm not holding you here, dude. There goes goes. Probably getting me time.
I mean, what, do you, what do you think should happen here? I don't know, I'm pretty scared. <laughs> I understand. Um, who's your manager? Huh? Who's your manager? Uh, okay, is he here right now? No. Okay. What do you think should happen to people like this? That kind of message underage girls saying, I want to have sex with them? I mean, probably should get in trouble. All right. Does that include you, or are you different from that? Probably. All right. Well, um, I think we should... Uh... I think we'll go have a talk with them over there. Just go jail, Lena. Well, just be honest with me, or be honest with them like you were with me, and I think you'll be okay. You know, honesty goes a long way with me. I can vouch for you, but, you know... go in real quick and just let them know. When, you want to tell them everything? Oh, I'm just going to tell them there's a situation. I'm not going to go into detail. Do I have to come in? I would hope you do. Uh, Ma'am, he, he might be going to jail. Um, yeah. Yeah, ma'am, he, he might be going to jail. He was messaging an underage kid here, so that's why. Um, yeah, just letting y'all know. We're just going to go have a talk with the cops outside. Yep. Where the f*** they go? Well, I went around that. Might be your lucky day, my no, I'm just kidding. Um, all right. Okay. Where is Were you working here in April by chance? Well, it makes it like That's crazy. So, you you think you were here in April? I'll see you more. What month is it? It's uh, September. Oh, yeah. Oops. That's the hell? Uh, I think I was working for myself at that time. Oh, got it. Okay. Hello. How's it going? Good, sir. Hi. Uh, basically, Mike, you were messaging a 13-year-old girl, basically saying you, you want to have with her and all that stuff. That's pretty much the gist of what we're here for. Okay. All right. One more. What? Basically, you were messaging a 13-year-old girl saying you're going to have with her, and that's kind of why we're talking, right? Okay. And you said you've kind of had a curiosity about minors since you were like 18, 19, something like that. Okay. Well, and these messages here or an accurate representation of you kind of saying you want to have sex with this girl and her saying that she's 12 and all that stuff. Okay. <clears throat> we were here in April too um, for another one of these, actually at this location as well. Yeah, yeah. At Pilot? Yeah, yeah. So you work here? Yeah. All right, man, you have the right to remain silent. Anything you say can we get you in a court of law. You have the right to talk to a lawyer have one with, present with you while you're being questioned. All right, you cannot afford to hire a lawyer, one be appointed to represent you before any question if you wish. Okay, yeah, camo. You can decide anytime yeah. to exercise these <laughs> rights, not answer any questions that make sense. Did Gunther pass us? He probably did. Oh, yeah. So you got the answer? Yeah, they're right here. Yeah. yeah. They're all in order. Okay. All right. You guys would just stand by. Yeah, no problem. No problem. I didn't even, dude, I didn't even see Gunther on this cast. He, 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 he was like behind the uh, window. You could see him. <laughs> <laughs> he was just creeping right there. In the Did he flash a Let's Go Gordon shirt? <laughs> oh, here, I'll, I'll go talk to him. 
Ik dacht dat we gaan. Ik heb gewoon te lesen. Ik zeg maar bij Gunther. Ik denk dat ze wel scared about Gunther. So the last guy that y'all met was he from Poland? Uh, I don't know. Do you remember where he was? Because I wasn't on that one. Do you remember where he was from? Uh, not right now. He was actually, know. he worked here too. This guy also, that guy also worked here? Yes, sir. Yeah, the conversation still happened right here. All right, what's up, guys? This is our second catch at, at the uh, Pilot in Good Hope, Alabama. Um, second this year. Crazy how this happens. Um, but yeah, this was an employee here this time, and I guess he wasn't working here when we caught the first guy here, but um, would have been funny. But anyway, let's hope we get around here. Hopefully the title has a rest, and you'll see him in cuffs in a few minutes. But um, yeah, if you want to support what we do, traveling the most, catching the six, go down to Locals in the pinned comment. It really helps us out. Over 100 videos early and uncensored, and tons of updates, live streams, and everything else. Pin company. If you want to support the predator poachers catching the sickest both near and far, go to the pinned comment. If you're on Rumble, press the red join button to see over 30 videos early and uncensored for only $10 a month. We can't do this without your help, so join our locals.